Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Hey, we're talking about the blessing of the Lord. This is number three today. We're going through this book. We're reading it and we're talking about it. This is actually an audio version of the book with explanation. So this is really good. Praise God, huh? Everybody's been wanting me to do this. So we're going to do it. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Because I get results. Amen, huh? Praise God. Make sure you call me today if you need anything. I'm always here for you. If you haven't been blessed yet this week, make sure you call to receive your word-for-word -word blessing. If you're a partner with this ministry, I want to bless you every week. I want to speak a blessing over you every week if you're a partner with this ministry. If you're not a partner with this ministry, you can still call for prayer. Amen. And, and I'll speak the blessing over you. But the partners... I'm always wanting to talk to our partners. Amen. Glory to God. And our partners are required to pray for us. To pray, keep us in prayer. And it's most of our partners will support us. Because it takes a lot to put all this out. And we make all of our stuff available to everybody. We don't charge for any of our stuff. The only thing anybody ever has to pay for is books. And that's because Amazon has the exclusive rights to the books. So they charge for the books. We get $2 a piece for them. So, so maybe $2 and a quarter. But anyway, we just want you to have them. We want you to get them. Amen. We don't send out the books anymore because it's such a deal to get to the post office and stand in line just to mail a book. It's just an incredible. And they change the postage constantly on these. So we just let the people get the books from Amazon. Amen. So glory to God. Uh, make sure you call today when you do your offerings and donations because I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you and share these videos with everybody. We're talking, we're reading in this book and we've been, we're working now on the introduction. We're all the way up to the introduction. You know, if you ask, and I'm going to pick up here where I left off yesterday. It says, if you ask almost any born again believer how they're doing, they will tell you they're blessed. I remember this guy. Oh, it used to. He, you could tell he was struggling. And he always said, I said, how are you doing? He said, blessed and highly favored. But he wasn't. He wasn't. You know, people, a lot of people who say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. They're not. Do you know how you can tell if a person is blessed? By how they live. By how they live. And that's a fact. That's a fact. If people are broken, they're sick, and they're telling you they're blessed, they're not. They're not. They're making a good confession, and that's good to do, but they're not blessed yet. We're going to get them blessed. Many of the people will say they're blessed and highly favored. They believe they're blessed when the truth of the matter is they are experiencing little blessings here and there. People, they stand up. I say in church all the time, who's got a good report for us? Some people stand up and say, say, I, I got a car. It's an old beat up used car, but now I got a car to drive. I am so blessed. And I'm going, okay. That's a little blessing. A raise at work is a little blessing. The blessing of the Lord, the blessing of Abraham is all of the little blessings in one package. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 through 14. That is the blessing of the Lord, word for word. That's God's definition of the blessing. You want to know what the blessing is? Read it. Read that. Some even have good-sized blessings, and some have experienced major blessings. But they're not walking in the fullness of the blessing of Abraham. 
I have even heard people who are sick and can't pay their bills talking about how blessed they are. Sadly, they don't even know what the blessing is. You know, when I first started to get in a hold of this, and I realized that the blessing of the Lord was available to me, but I wasn't blessed. I said, I'm going to have the blessing of the Lord. I'm going to, people say, oh, Pastor Jim, why are you doing all this fussing for and talking about this? You're already blessed. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not blessed. Well, why aren't you blessed? Because I'm having trouble paying my bills. A person who is blessed does not have trouble paying their bills, folks. And I knew that I didn't have the blessing. I knew it. If you don't have it, say, you know what? I don't have it yet, but I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. I'm getting the blessing. Start talking like that. That blessing belongs to me. I'm going to have it. Once you get, once you get a revelation that that blessing belongs to you, and it does, if you're born again, the blessing of the Lord belongs to you, just like salvation belongs to you, healing belongs to you, the spiritual gifts belong to you, speaking in tongues belongs to you, all that, but you got to operate in it according to faith. And sometimes you have to receive the blessing. Now, when I speak the blessing over people, that blessing will come over you. Now what we got to do is get your faith built up for it. And believe me, it will get built up. The more you listen to this series, when you get done with this series, whether there's 40 messages in there or 50 or 20, whatever it is, then go back and go through them again. Go through these and through these and through these until that blessing falls on you and, and your house is paid off. Your cars are all paid off. You get a huge, huge promotions at work. Everything falls into your life. Somebody in California dies and leaves you a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. We've had that happen. I'm telling you, we've had that happen. More times than I can tell you. People make a people mistake a blessing for the blessing, and there is a huge difference. If you ask people in any church what they need, they will tell you it's financial, or in many cases, it's healing. If I go into a, a strange church, which we have done conferences all over the country, people all over the country know who we are because we've been to so many places. And if a lot of times I go into a church and I'll say, how many people in here need to be healed? <clears throat> Two thirds of the church will stand up. Say, okay, sit down. How many people in this church need financial blessings? And 95% of them will stand up. They ain't blessed. But they'll tell you they're blessed. Hmm? Many of God's people are having major problems with their health, including high blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis, heart disease, headaches, and so on. This should not be this should not be because the blessing of Abraham brings healing. This covenant, this covenant of the blessing includes healing. Jesus said in, in Luke chapter 13, verse 16, shouldn't this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan is bound for 18 years, shouldn't she be healed today? She should be. Why? Because she's a covenant person. And I got news for you. If you are born again, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you live in it or not, you are a covenant person with God. That's a fact. You're a covenant person if you're born again. You're in covenant with God. And everything you own belongs to God. And everything he owns belongs to you, including all of his promises. They belong to you. You have a right to have your prayers answered. You have a right to be healed if you're sick. You have a right to be forgiven if you make a mistake. You have rights under the covenant. It's an agreement. Read about it. It's there. It belongs to you. I'm telling you what, there's so much good stuff in the Bible. I, I'm going to bring this to life. I'm going to bring this out for you. 
I'm going to show you how much good is in this Bible. I'm telling you what, I, I see new good things all the time. Somebody showed me something uh, a few weeks ago. It just, just almost knocked me off the chair when she called me and told me about something she'd seen in the Bible. I hadn't seen it. And then she says to me, keep working on your faith. Somebody in my church calls me and says, Pastor Jim, keep working on your faith. I said, I'm going to. She knows my faith is not where it needs to be. And it's not. And neither is yours. But we're going to get it there. We're working. The only one who ever had perfect faith was Jesus. And his faith was perfect in every area. Just like the rest of his life was perfect in every area. My life has not been perfect. And my faith is not perfect but I'm working on it. Amen. I'm trying to increase it constantly. The blessing of Abraham is all the blessings combined. And the curse of the law is all of the curses combined. Every curse out there available to people is covered in the curse of the law. That's why when people call me, I will break the curse of the law in their life. And I'll bind the power of the devil in their life. And you know what that does? That opens you up to God's blessings because these curses block the blessings. We're going to get into all this. Curses are blessing blockers. Amen. A curse of sickness will keep you from being healed. Even God can't heal you if that curse of sickness is there. So we remove that curse through the power in the name of Jesus and God's healing comes in. You see how easy this is? I'm telling you, please, don't, don't be deceived by the simplicity of all this. You're going to see as we go through this how simple all this is to live in the blessing of the Lord. It's not hard. God has not made anything hard for us. He, he's so wonderful, he's made everything easy. Hmm? Other people are struggling to pay their bills and working two or three jobs to make ends meet. They're trying to believe God to come up with enough money to make their rent and car payments. This should not be because the blessing of Abraham, which is what we're after and what we're working on, brings abundance. Abundance being more money than you need. It's just as easy to develop your faith for the blessing of Abraham as it is to develop your faith for money to pay the rent. I tell people this. Instead of trying to believe for all this different stuff, believe for the blessing. Concentrate on the blessing. And the blessing will cause all this other stuff to just come to you. You see how simple this is? Instead of trying to believe for healing, trying to believe for your rent, trying to believe for your car payment, trying to believe for your job, trying to believe for your kids to have clothes. Concentrate on the blessing because the blessing will make all that stuff happen for you. Hmm? That make it a little easier? Because, so, you know, even in, in Bible school at Rhema, they taught us how to believe for all this different stuff until I found out the blessing makes all that happen. The blessing of the Lord makes rich in every area of your life. It makes your relationships, your marriage rich. It makes your children rich and successful. Our, we have four kids. And I'm telling you what, our kids are so successful, it's mind-boggling. It's incredible. Two of them are vacationing down at the Keys right now. We flew them down there Tuesday in our airplane. We live good, folks. But we didn't used to live good. It's the blessing of the Lord that has made such a difference in our life. And this blessing will make a difference in your life. I'm determined that all of our partners are going to live in this blessing. If it's not working in your life yet, hang on, because it's going to. I'm de I am more determined than you are that you're going to live in God's blessing. God needs you to be blessed. Because the blessing of the Lord attracts other people to the kingdom. People see that God's word is working in your life. They will want what you have.